a bowl of these sitting in front of you, and you'd be good to go. Hey, you may be on the winning team. Living with Ms. Renee the Barber. So glad to see you again. Are you ready for more healthy football snacks? All right, now let's get into the housekeeping rules. You know what they are. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, share, comment, and don't forget that like button. All right, now do you have your water? You know this is a healthy living channel, and what do we do? We always take a squig of water. If you don't have your water, you know what to do. Put this video on pause. Go get your water. When you return, we'll be here. Alrighty then. Now, you have your water, so let's take that squid together. <laughs> so tonight, as I mentioned, hey, I'm, I'm new to healthy eating, okay? And, I, and so I'm always surfing the internet for fun recipes, quick, easy recipes, recipes that I, I will like and hopefully you will like too. So tonight, what I'm gonna try, kale chips, an alternative to potato chips. Of course, less calories. All right, so you know what we'll need. We're gonna need your basic uh, ingredients, which would include the kale, kale leaves, I've only got one bunch, um, and they're going to shrink down in the process. So they're, this is this bunch may look like a lot, but it's not going to be a lot once we're finished. Okay. Then we have uh, we're going to need some lemon juice as well as nutritional yeast. Now th this here is the nutritional yeast flakes, and I got them from Whole Foods. However. I put them in my magic bullet and I blended them down to a powder. So you're going to need nutritional yeast powder, all right? And that gives the um, the kale kind of like a, a, a coating, a cheesy coating. Now, you're going to need your salt, black pepper, oil, and hey, your kale, all right? That's about it, okay? Really easy, what I tell you. <laughs> this is going to be quick and simple. The longest part actually will be the baking. Alrighty, now let's take a little sip of our ice water. Remember the promise drink at least eight ounces of water while I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. Now, this tonight, what I'm the flavor tonight is. Pomegranate blueberry. Yes, it is. I had to double check, right? <laughs> yes. And I've already cut it with the water. All right. So, now let's get started. All right. There's only eight simple steps to creating the kale chips. Very easy. Step number one, rinse the kale. Step number two, we are going to dry the kale. Step number three, we're going to take the stem, uh, remove the stem from the kale. And, and that's a very simple. You're just going to pinch and remove. You're going, to, you're going to pinch the stem at the bottom, at the base of the kale leaf, and you're going to run your finger up that stem until it's, until it's at the top and you remove the entire stem. Okay, step number four, we're going to break the uh, or tear the kale leaf into pieces like bite-sized pieces now initially we want the pieces to be a little larger than bite size because what's going to happen later on okay we're going to bake 
the kale and while it's baking it's going to shrink down into a bite sized piece so you don't want them to be small because then they'll be uh, thumbnail size after the baking all right so step number five we're going to season and massage the kale step number six we're going to place the kale on a baking sheet or a cookie sheet and we're going to align that with parchment paper step number seven we're going to bake the kale at 350 degrees and then we're going to check it every 15 minutes and we're going to turn it every 15 minutes and we're going to bake it for almost an hour until it um, gets to the texture of a crispy leaf we're going to remove the kale from the stove and let it cool for approximately 10 minutes and then we will enjoy all right so here we go
already finally done ready for the taste test unbelievably okay now what did you guys think I don't know it's my first time making them let's just take a taste test I think I'll take this one right here you hear the crunch 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 <laughs> that's what it looks like uh oh all right let's see <laughs> Mm. Good. I mean, really. I know my co-workers before I left work today. I was asking them had they ever had kale chips, and they were like, no. Now, tomorrow, they'll probably see this video and they'll say, How really, how were they, Miss Renee? How really, how, um, how really were they? Were they really good? Mm hmm. Mm. Do you guys hear this crunch? Mm hmm. Mm. Go cool. up. This is an alternative to potato chips for the game day. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. A bowl of these sitting in front of you, and you'd be good to go. Hey, you may be on the winning team. <laughs> All right, let me take a little. That was more than a sip, but kind of thirsty. All right. <clears throat> Thank you guys for taking time out of your busy schedule to spend the time with me. I hope that if you're watching this video to prepare game day snacks and food, I hope that you're receiving something from this. Great ideas. I hope you're able to implement them. All righty then. I hope you had a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you next video. So, until then, please stay healthy.